Blackburn neighbors get some insight and express their worry over lead levels found in several Durham City parks. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Maggie Newland. And I'm Nick Sturdivant. This is an update to a story we've been reporting on for several weeks after the city began fencing off areas throughout the summer. CBS 17's Harrison Grubb breaks down the latest test results. Areas of several Durham parks now fenced off because of concerning lead levels. It's very, very important that we get as much focus as we can on the act, the specificity and nature of what we're dealing with here. Initial tests on August 3rd of five parks found lead levels above the EPA threshold of 400 parts per million at three of them, with some readings well above that limit, according to these maps of testing results on the city's website. Elevated levels were first found at the East Durham and Walltown parks, as well as inside a fenced-in area near the East End Park. But further tests released on Friday found additional areas. Orange fencing now surrounding this playground at Northgate Park, after lab analysis showed a sample here also exceeds the EPA threshold. Threshold. All five parks that have been tested have had at least one sample above the EPA's limit. Impacted areas like the playground at Northgate are fenced off while the rest of the park remains open. With concern mounting from members of the community, city officials held a virtual meeting with stakeholders Sunday afternoon. It, is, it was a conversation and we got to deal directly with you know the voices and concerns of, of, of someone in a very, very unfiltered uh, fashion. Deputy City Manager Keith Chadwell says the meeting was a productive one as city leaders work to figure out the next steps. A soil analysis is expected in the coming days, which should give the city a better idea of how to combat the issue. We're going to have conversations about the best way to uh, remediate uh, the exact nature of what we found. Leaders hope to continue having meetings with the community throughout this process, especially once the results of the analysis are complete. In Durham, Harris Grubb, CBS 17 News.